This is the first narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 5, Cell Reproduction. Let's get started. Module 5 focuses on the key terms and processes regarding cell division. Cells may divide asexually and only one parent is needed to produce offspring or sexually when two parents are needed to produce offspring. Cell theory states that cells only come from other cells. Therefore, cell division is important for the reproduction of cells. Reproduction may mean simply asexual division of a parent cell into two identical daughter cell cells. This is common in many unicellular prokaryotes. On the other hand, reproduction could be a much more complex process of multicellular eukaryotes, humans included, producing male and female gametes or sex cells. Gametes differ from other parent cells because they contain only one copy of each chromosome. Other cells contain two copies. A zygote is formed when two gametes come together and it contains two sets of chromosomes. Asexual reproduction is a form of reproduction that requires only one parent. Thus, the offspring are genetically identical to the parent. Asexual reproduction is typical in most unicellular organisms such as the prokaryotes, bacteria, and archaea, and the eukaryote protists. Some multicellular organisms are capable of this, including some fish and reptiles that can undergo parthenogenesis or the development of an unfertilized egg. The plant seen in this picture reproduces asexually via buds along the edge of the leaf. Eventually, each bud drops off and forms a new plant. There are several advantages of asexual reproduction versus sexual reproduction. Less energy is required to find and fight for a male. Another parent does not have to be available, so no time must be spent of finding a mate. Additionally, the lack of genetic variability in asexual reproduction reduces the chance of genetic mutations. The drawback of asexual reproduction, however, is there is low overall genetic variability because genetic diversity from separate parents cannot be blended in the offspring. While asexual reproduction requires the genetic material from only one parent cell, sexual reproduction requires genetic material from two parent cells. Sexual reproduction is common in plants, animals, and fungi. In the case of hermaphroditic organisms, or organisms possessing both male and female reproductive systems, the parent cells can be produced by the same organism, and two of the gametes unite to form a zygote. This process is known as autofertilization and is different from asexual reproduction because an exchange of sperm does occur between two different parent cells. Sexual reproduction also has pros and cons. The benefit of sexual reproduction is an increase of genetic diversity among organisms in a population. There are several drawbacks of sexual reproduction, including energy and time requirements of finding and perhaps competing for a mate. Two parents are required by many sexually reproducing species. However, some species are hermaphroditic and may be capable of producing male and female gametes that may auto-fertilize. The presence of genetic variability introduces the possibility for genetic mutations. This is a review of the comparison between the two major types of reproduction. Remember, sexual reproduction requires two gamete cells with a single set of chromosomes to merge and produce a zygote, a cell with two sets of homologous chromosomes. Two gametes may be produced by the same hermaphroditic organism. Asexual reproduction only requires one parent cell to reproduce.